Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you my first FIFA 16 player review. Now I know a couple of YouTubers have already reviewed this guy, but I'm a Manchester United fan. How can I not review Ryan Giggs? I'm so happy this guy's got a legend card. It, it does look really, really good, but obviously the three-star skill moves and the two-star weak foot are kind of negatives. Three-star skill moves, all right, it's not too bad, but the two-star weak foot is a little bit poor. But he makes up for it with 90 pace, 88 dribbling, 78 shooting, and 87 passing. I bought him for just under a million. I've played six games with him. I've scored eight goals. I wasn't really going for assists, etc. And there's one on the market for a million. Wow, there was like six when I bought him. But anyway, um, yeah, let's get into the... Highlights, well, no, his in-game stats now. His in-game stats look very, very good, to be honest. Uh, for an 89 rate play, he's got 91 acceleration, 89 sprint speed as the key mental and physical attributes. Unfortunately, only 62 strength, but I don't think that's as, as important this FIFA as in previous ones. Skill attributes, 92 crossing, 92 curve, and 92 dribbling being his main ones there. He's also got 88 long passes and 88, uh, sorry, 86 short passes. And then the specialty, speedster, dribbler, and crosser, which are all very useful. And the traits, team player. So yeah, let's get into the highlights. All right, we'll go through his weaknesses first. And he's got three. His weak foot is really, really bad. Two star is kind of annoying on this game. But if you can get him on that left foot, he'll be fantastic. Skill moves as well. Um, three star isn't too bad, but for some people, you know, verba spins, etc. Little flicks like that, that um, you can't do. But still, I've got to put that as negative. And the price, he's also a million. And uh, yeah, that is a little bit of a downside for the start of FIFA. He'll gradually go down and he'll be more affordable. But anyway, on to the positives. There are many. His pace, it feels incredible. It feels more than 90. I don't know what it is. He's just so quick. All right. I think he's got the trait speed drib dribbler, doesn't he? Or something like that. But um, yeah, that makes him feel so much quicker. His dribbling is exceptional as well. The power and strength he possesses while running as well allows him to keep the ball in instances where you wouldn't think he would. And he's very, very good with that type of thing. His shooting all around feels really, really good. Every type of shot, I mean, finesse shots are a little underpowered this FIFA, so I didn't really do too many of those, but I think he scored one or two, if I remember correctly, but long shots, etc., very, very good. And all I was doing was, you've seen numerous times in these highlights, just running on the left, cutting inside, and then finessing it in or smashing it in, and it worked so many times. His heading seems fairly decent, even though he's relatively, um, you know, he's an average height, 5'11", his heading seems pretty on point, I didn't score any, but in terms of passing uh, with his head, etc, he seems fairly good, flair as well, the flair on the card is really good, if you want to do like a Rabona or one of those scoop chips, he's very, very good at doing that, agility as well, it, it feels really, really on point with this card, and I think they've nailed that correctly in his prime, he was absolutely fantastic, and his positioning seems to be really good, he's always available to take the pass and I can understand what that teamwork trait is he works well and he, he passes well and he seems to know where to be which I like with a card so overall I really do enjoy this card and as I say there's only three negatives weak foot skill moves and the price apart from that he's worth every single penny I did pay I know I've put the price as a negative but that's because it's a million coins and not a lot of people do have that at this stage so for what you're getting compared to how much he costs, he's not worth it at the minute, for me, he's worth it, but for other people who don't have the, the, you know, the amount, then obviously he's not, that doesn't make much sense, but uh, what I'm trying to say, I found him very effective, and I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10, only 3 negatives, a lot of positives, and if you ever do have enough to get him, or you get a loan of him or whatever, I suggest you try him out, he's absolutely terrific, and they've nailed his card on, he should be higher rated than 89, but... Oh well, his card feels very, very good. Let me know who you want me to review next. And yeah, peace.